Okay, so we are here at the end of this Project Soapway Beard Balm Challenge. And today's winner has become one of my favorite, like, sudzers as far as just existing as a human and all of the things, but also in getting to edit their videos. Because while at first I was very, very intimidated by said videos, I have come to love them. Like, they're so much fun to play with, and I just want to appreciate all of the awesome extra stuff that got put into it. And I will tell you more about these videos and the sudzer and this process and a recipe and all of the things in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for week 28 of year three and Project Soapway Challenge number 10, the Beard Balm Challenge, and our final winner in this series, and that is Extra Soaps. Now, Extra Soaps has won two at this point. This is a journey, as Extra actually said within his footage and within the letter that he sent me, because that's what he does. He sends me all this information, like he gives me a whole letter, multiple pages, as well as the spreadsheet of all of the information and the recipe, and just gives all these different camera angles and all, it's amazing. Everything about Extra's process is absolutely incredible because he has such thought and detail into absolutely every portion of this. It's not just the making, right? It's also the, the setup for his filming and he has multiple angles going on. It's the like pristine nature of his environment while he is filming, but also, you know, just kind of generally whenever he's making, I would assume it's just everything is a delight and it's always a very big process and so we're gonna get to this video i have a beard that this is being tested on like he's actually testing it on his beard for us i'm so excited to show all of this to you so let's get to the video because we're putting extra stuff in it and i you know want to want to check it all out hey so we have extra today we have we have extra you guys he's the triple threat the hat trick three now, and he's working with some really cool ingredients and the recipe will be on the, the screen in, you know, just a minute. But first up, looks like we are dealing with 15% Japan wax. And I got from this that the Japan wax is a vegan bees. And I find that to be very interesting and very cool. And uh, then also 15% of the kokum butter. Now he did say within his recipe, within his video, that he likes the use of kokum and shea, uh, both but he really, really enjoys the kokum just a little bit more. So 15% of the kokum and 5% of the shea. Now for the liquid oils, we have a broccoli seed oil at 16%, which I love. Karanja oil at 16%, which I also love. Jojoba oil at 10%, avocado oil at 10%, and then sea buckthorn oil at 4%. He also put in a little bit of vitamin E at 0.02%. And then his fragrance was at 4%, as well as some sweet orange oil and uh, plant to serve E at 1%. Now, this is a very cool recipe. When you see the sea buckthorn, definitely pay attention because it's bright red and absolutely gorgeous. But I like what he's done with this. The nourishing and moisturizing properties of the kokum and shea, so the butter is coming in at 20% of the overall recipe, it's going to yield a not as firm as what I have done for the beard balm consistency, but it's going to be not overly like pore clogging and really be un like necessarily, you know, moisturizing. So I do love that. Broccoli seed oil is going to be great. It's great for hair softening. 
It's great for hair growth. The Karanja is going to be helping out the skin underneath as well as helping out with any of the breakage from the hair as will the jojoba. Avocado oil is a great deep moisturizer, you know, and so that's going to be a deep penetrating oil, which is a great idea for the oils too. All in all, everything about this has a really good blend of things that you need for not only your hair and its, you know, beard health and growth, but also for the skin underneath, because that's one of the most important things to pay attention to is going to be the skin underneath because healthy skin yields a healthy beard. That sea buckthorn oil going in is going to be a gorgeous addition because again, it's red, which you're gonna see in just a minute, but two, because it's going to help out with the hair softening, which is going to be really great for like a coarse beard, which is what Extra has said that he has. And you also get to see it, right? Because they put in a an actual use video in all of this that I got to to watch and he actually used this product on his beard which I love because we've been doing it you know just on our hands and on our arms and stuff so I think that that's awesome and I'm really excited for it but yeah look at that that buckthorn it's bright red he says that he also uses this to color to do natural coloring for other products other cosmetics so I love this oh and also pay attention to this he's using the perfect man and uh, the, this is a secret that he's given me, the perfect man. It's a great scent. It's my favorite scent. I, months and months ago, I was saying how much I loved it and how I have you know that soap in my office and I won't use it because it smells so good. Every time I walk by, it's like the best smell ever. Yeah, it's perfect man plus sweet orange oil. Now, he did point out in all the documentation that he sent me that it is important and I think that this is something that I should, you know, remind you guys all of or, you know, talk about it a little bit because it is important that there is a difference with orange oils, right? And uh, especially when you're working with skin and a leave-on product, you really have to pay attention to it. So a sweet orange oil is not phototoxic, but the bitters are and it can cause skin sensitivity. So you really have to be careful when you're messing with your essential oils for leave on products it can be as dangerous or it can be more dangerous actually than just putting a fragrance in because of all of the different um counterindications and skin sensitivities and allergens and all the jazz that come with it so it is very important to point that out thank you very much for doing so he is using a sweet orange oil in combination with the perfect man and he made a perfect scent with that it is absolutely gorgeous now this part that i'm showing you right now where he just put in the powder. I did not mention anything about the powder when I was talking about his recipe because he decided to go ahead and omit that from his overall formulation. I guess he had troubles with it properly dissolving and he said that the end result of it, it was grainy. So there was a grainy texture to the actual product itself. And so in order to do that, he, you know, it would end up being kind of a, a weird consistency. He was also going to use aloe extract initially, but he did not want to put any aloe extract in it because it's water-based and he didn't want to put a preservative into this um, or include any water so it would require a preservative. Now this particular formulation does not require a preservative because it has no water in it, but you could always put one in just in case, you know, best practices and all the jazz. That's a great idea. Now, he did go ahead and put a preservative into the final formulation and he said that his testers did not tell the difference. They could not tell the difference between preservative free and the not preservative free as far as the performance overall. So that's good to know as well. I went ahead and included this footage in all of this because I love his setup and how he gets everything out on a tray, has everything there and ready to go. And as he uses it, he puts it to the side off of the tray so once his tray is empty he knows he has all of his products in and also it just shows all of his attention to detail and how pristine his setup is how clean his environment is how this is the only thing that is going on in his in his sphere right now it's to make the best beard balm ever i love it it's it's so exquisite i used to get really intimidated by his videos but now that i have been able to work with them three times now I was really excited to get his footage because first 
I got, I get to see the differences, like as he grows and continues to change his setups or whatever, I get to see his different filming differences. And that's, you know, the differences in his filming. And that's really cool to me just because it shows that there's growth and he's paying attention to this and he cares about the documenting of this process. He also really, really cares, like all of that thought and precision that he puts into his studio setup. He also puts into his recipes and you can tell that just across the board, he genuinely likes this. He enjoys doing this and he does all of it to the nth degree and absolutely like perfectly. And I really, really appreciate that and seeing that from the Sudzers. And with his footage now, as I said, I get to just really play with it and, you know, put in different like, you know, overhead versus the side angles and all of the jazz. And so I've done some of that. I'm not good at it. I always feel like I botch his his beautiful artistry, but I I get to also learn and get better at, you know, editing videos because he gives me just so very much to work with. It's absolutely awesome. Okay, now on to the pour of this. And uh, with this, he did go ahead and melt down all of his ingredients in a glass beaker, in a double boiler. As you can see here, he's showing us all of that. And I also just, you know, kept the little the little thing in because I love that he does his markers with everything. It's Project Soapway, number 10, Beard Balm, take one. It's delightful. It's really, and it's also a great way to make sure that all your files are super organized and you know what it is because you can see it just based on the auto-populated, you know, thumbnail that gets put up on, you know, your camera device. But with this, it has all melted down and he is ready to pour it. Well, to put essentially in this case, he's putting in the aloe. So again, I am showing you the aloe, but that was not in his ultimate overall finished product. This isn't just sort of an idea of like, this is the point where you would add any sort of dry ingredients that you're wanting to include into your beard balm. So you know, if you wanted to include a clay of some sort, make it a lightweight uh, for sure, or an arrowroot to wick away any sort of extra moisture and all the things. And yeah. And so this particular, well, 76 isn't right. What's happening? Are you, are you measuring in a different thing? There's no way that's 76 degrees. It must be the other temperature that I don't know how to use. Yeah. All right. 150 degrees. I think he, well, I don't know the conversion. So anyway, it's at 150 degrees right now and it's uh, everything's nice and liquid and it's ready to incorporate all of his dry ingredients. And at this point, you would also put in, you know, your fragrance and your preservative and all of the jazz and uh, then pour out. And so this particular recipe, again, I like that he fiddled with it so much throughout the, the process. And he when he tested it, he decided that while aloe would be a really cool addition he ultimately kind of went, well, I can get that cool addition for the skin loving benefits and, you know, the calming effects from another oil or butter and not have to worry about the graininess of the end product because that can be a total bummer for sure. So it was very well thought out. And realistically, again, as I said earlier, the combination of all of these oils is a really delightful blend. I like this Japan wax thing. I think it's a very interesting product. I had never heard of it before. So this is another Sudzer that, you know, is sending me information that, that I get to go look stuff up, you know? So I don't necessarily have to look it up because he provides all of the information as to what all of these, you know, oils and butters and waxes and everything do within his notes, not only within his notes that he, you know, sent to me, but he keeps a set, a spreadsheet and he actually sent me an Excel spreadsheet that is already blown out and perfect of exactly how, you know, all of the ingredients go in and, you know, do the total batch weight, you know, a spreadsheet. And I think that that's delightful. I, I did not share it with you guys because, you know, I don't know if I have the permission to do it, but it's a really good template that you can, you know, put all the stuff in for whatever recipe you're wanting and keep all your notes and everything there in one handy place. And if that is something I can share, I will post a link to a Google Drive in the Discord. And so the member Sudsers can go check that out. But within all of this, he also gives, you know, substitutions and he talks about the Japan wax because, again, I'm not familiar with it. I have not used it. And it he has stated that if you decide to use bees instead of the Japan wax, it's going to make a lighter final product. 
So you would need to increase the beeswax to 20%, which I find very interesting. I would have thought that the opposite was true. So I actually am going to order some Japan wax. I got to get my hands on it. Got to see just how firm this is, you know. And he does also give uh, some information about the Japan wax, saying that it's a very special product as it contains only 5% fatty acid, which means it's more viscous than other wax waxes. I think that that's a really cool information to, you know, just give to us generally, but also to have in your recipe notes in case you forget. Point is from cradle to grave, extra takes care of all, all considerations and is absolutely perfect in everything that he does. He leaves nothing undone. And I love seeing this. I love seeing how organized he is within his making. I love seeing how organized he is within his formulations. I love knowing that this Sudzer exists in the world and has all of this information on hand, including batch numbers and all the things. Should anything go awry? No. The, the likelihood of a customer ever, like, anything going awry, it's very, very slim. But you don't want to be caught. You don't want to be that person that needs that information from this particular batch and exactly what's in it and all the jazz, you know, the, if it does happen. And so I really, really enjoy his organization and his Excel spreadsheet and all the jazz. And I look at this actual texture of this. That's very very pretty now i think this is a good idea on why i think it's so awesome that he is going to be showing us his actual beard with this because as you can see there it's like oh that's greasy right well when you have a whole face full of beard you know you actually need a more moisturizing product and so while it may look really greasy and weird on the on the hand like oh no that's not something i want for the beard that might be perfect and speaking of the might be perfect i'm gonna let him talk about it now and maybe I'll interject a little bit, but let's check out this beard test. Project Subway number 10, scene extra fun, take two. We are testing the product. This is what the full, that's the big one, and travel size. And um, I'm going to be using the travel size today to be testing it. That's what it looks like in the inside. When I tell you that I got weepy, seeing his face here, seeing him smile, testing his products, I cannot. There is, mm -mm. and this, he's so, it's, it's pre such precision, making sure that he gets the exact right shot here. I love it. Okay, let's hear some more from Extra. And this is the Tiger Stripes scent. Kind of smells um, masculine with a little bit of um, sweet orange. And so what I like to do is I like to rub between the hands. Okay. okay, so in the off chance that you don't like the sounds of beard, you know, balm, ASMR, I I'm just going to go ahead and pop in again. I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool, but... I love that he did this. This is the most amazing thing ever. And to film yourself trying to, you know, put the, the stuff on the beard without a mirror and all the jazz. I mean, oh my God, well done. This is amazing. That helps with the flyaways. Uh, do you see when I, what I mean when I say that he is just so precise? Everything about him. He's so smart. He's so thoughtful. Everything that he does, including his beard care and all of the extra steps that how many boys do you know just miss this? They don't do this, combing their beard, you know, hair through. He does it. This is who he is. It's great. I'm going to go wash my hands. So this, I changed the design a little bit. So this is the tiger stripes. I made the, with the hanger swirl, made some stripes that looks more like tiger. This is the inspiration for the scent. And like I was saying that uh, Miss Open Clay had asked that I make a whole line. So, we have three items. The lotion. The beer balm. And now, the soap. Would it be a testing video without a montage? 
<laughs> Come on, stop. I want him to be my friend. That was the most delightful thing ever. And when I tell you I cried so hard, we're not even done. Because this is what he does at the end of all of it, right? He stages the scene. Make sure everything is all beautiful and perfect. And, you know, he's created a product story here for his website. It's gorgeous. He comes and he, the lighting's incredible. And he goes and he makes sure that he takes a picture. So now he has stuff for his Instagram. He has stuff for his website. He has, you know, all the stuff. But he's also going to show us again just on his hands. You know, I think I just wanted to see more of it because I'm just so impressed by everything that he did. And I wanted to give all of the footage that he sent me as much, you know, you know, showtime as I possibly could because it's delightful. I love his setup. Again, this is from cradle to grave. You can see that he cares about absolutely every aspect of his making process. It's not just the recipe. It's not just the end result. It's not just the scent. It's he has everything detailed, organized, documented. He thinks about the the product photography, the you know pictures and the videos that he's going to do. Everything is so well thought out, and I love it. And I haven't actually talked about it yet, but he was doing all of this while in the middle of moving, and so it's been this crazy journey with him moving and trying to get situated because we know how moving houses is. That's not a fun time, you know, and so. He did this in addition to being overly, I would be overly panicked and stressed and all the jazz. So well done, Extra. I am so proud of you. Thank you so much for being a part of the Sudzer community. Seriously. Yeah, like I said, a journey, right? It totally was. And Extra, it just went above and beyond the call of duty because in the middle of moving and everything, he went ahead and he did his beard test with it all and then showcased his products and so I had to of course leave that in I did ask if I could do so and he said it was fine but I had to because as soon as I saw that footage I like got weepy I got very emotional granted I'm a crier just kind of generally but it was just so beautiful to see him go this extra mile and it was beautiful to see his face and to see his beautiful beard and how healthy and glorious it is and actually use the products on himself which is a benefit you know what I mean? Because we've just been testing on hands and a lack of arm hair, you know, and whatever. So he, he did the thing and then tested it on an actual beard. 10 out of 10. Everybody go follow extra. You know the drill. Go show him all the love. With this journey with moving, as I said before, he was unable to actually get his website up and everything. But I know that as soon as he does, you are all going to go buy all of the things. Speaking of all the things... He had mentioned within his footage that he made an entire line on a scent, the scent that I loved so much with his first bar. And then he told me on Monday that a package was supposed to be delivered yesterday. And so it's here. And so we're going to open up a package from Extra right now, which I'm super excited about. So I have a package from Extra. Okay, so first off, this is absolutely perfect. I love the coloring here. So it's using, you know, his branding coloring and then also using his logo, his label, like his font and everything on the card itself from Extra Soaps. It's so cute. Oh, and he has QR codes here as well that he's working on. That is such a great idea. Scan that. It'll take you to the website. Scan it now. Scan it. Do it. And... Also, some really cute stickers that I guess he's probably going to be using to close up packages. Oh, yeah. It smells good because it's been in the, the box. And then also a very beautiful sticker here. Thank you for supporting my small business. Why isn't my camera focusing? And I'm going to open up the letter. But like I said, you know, when I was reading the other letters, sometimes they're for me very beautiful so he is continuing his branding throughout the entirety so he definitely has everything ready to go with the uh when he launches like he's no detail was left undone it's absolutely beautiful and he also has more qr codes that is such a smart idea scan that one scan both of them he's a foodie he has amazing foodies it's amazing so I'm not going to read uh, any well, any of this, uh, really, because um, it's very, it's for me. 
and it says nice things about me and that just feels really self gratuitous to do that but um it does talk a lot about the overall sudzers and uh their you know community the community that you guys have all built and how impactful and awesome it has been and that it the entire project soapway and all the sudzers generally have helped bring quote this art form to life end quote and i really like that a lot that's a beautiful way of looking at it because it is art i my tagline in you know the soap shop when teaching the classes has always been art plus science equals magic and so i very much love that this is definitely an artistic journey as well and uh yes thank you so much for that and sudzers yeah you're awesome thank you for being awesome every time we have a new member new person that we get to welcome into you know the member family you guys embrace them with open arms and so extra soaps was no exception and you guys have been epic with him so absolutely but i smell this it's it's killing me I, I i smell this it's so powerful and amazing so i'm going to open this up because i'm dying it is like my favorite scent like ever it's my favorite scent my favorite scent ever and so now I, I i think i'm gonna have ones that i can actually use and not just you know have there to smell good while i'm working extra you are ridiculous now first up this is a gorgeous bar of soap the actual labeling very cute i like that he did like the gradient thing it sort of represents all of the different colors that you find within the soap itself very very smart has all of the information on it that you were going to need and the design is what he showed us in his video and isn't that just stunning absolutely gorgeous i love that he kept the copper drizzle i love that he kept all of the colors that he had done the one behind me in and it is just so freaking good i love this scent so hard i cannot express to you how freaking good this scent is it's like everything good and perfect and amazing in this world and i'm not even kidding oh my gosh and he sent me one of the lotions too which is so freaking epic i love this because i actually really really enjoy his lotion so much he had sent me some lotion after i guess he won a lotion challenge and it was by far my favorite it was one of those moments where i you know how you take the top off and you unscrew it and you just keep beating the crap out of it till every last little bit is out of the container his lotion was that good it was so enjoyable it smelled lovely obviously he sent me multiple scents but the actual performance of it became just my go-to it was very very it was hydrating but not greasy and so i was able to continue my day after putting some lotion on and it was just an absolute delight so that was amazing and now I get it in this beautiful scent. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited. That is, that is ridiculous. And I got, oh, these are so potent I can smell them through the package. So I'm very excited about that. But I have some samples, which is always a smart idea to put samples in, you know? God, and he was kind enough to send uh, the full size and the travel size versions of the beard balm that he did for the video. I cannot express to you how amazing that is when a sudzer decides to send through a product that they have made for a challenge or just to send a care package or whatever I don't know to take the time to share your you with me and give me your products a this is not something that is ever expected I have been so spoiled just like opening up all these packages this week and it's been kind of overwhelming so to get another one has been even more so it's not expected uh, but two, it's incredibly appreciated. And uh, C, it's amazing. Mr. Soap and Clay is going to love this. This is the most incredible thing ever. But four, you put all of that work into filming the video and getting the recipe going and all of the things. And then to also just, here you go. You can have this for free. It's too much. You're giving too much of yourself. And I appreciate it for sure. But... You let us know the second that the website's up and running because I'm going to go spend a boatload of money. I have loved every single one of your products. And for the soaps, I am going to do a lather test and everything in a short and whatnot because I'm very excited I get to actually like try it now because it's been decoration. I refuse to use it. And so I will let you know. But for this guy, I super love it. See, look, I just had the lotion on and I've been able to unscrew these without any problems. So yeah, see, it's great. 
But yeah, so I'm going to see if I can do a, an extra here. He did it better. But it's very nice. It's a very cool texture for sure. I like it. I dig how all of the sudsers for this particular round went with a looser, you know, version. I'm going to just put some of my hair here and see kind of what's going on, you know. I like it. I could use that as a conditioner or a flyaway thing for, you know, myself. Oh, I could use it on Soap and Clay Killer Number One's hair too. Oh, it's so good. But I'm going to give probably one of these at least to Mr. Soap and Clay. Maybe a small one. But thank you so much for doing that. That's amazing. Sudzers, you know the drill. Again, I said it. Go follow him. Go do all the things. As soon as his website goes live, we are going to be having the best time. And uh, thank you, all of you, for existing, for being the people that are part of these challenges, for being here, for being a part of the Sudzer community, uh, for making me cry multiple times a week. You know, thanks for all of that. You guys all know who you are that are my, you know, regular offenders of that. But anyway, thank you. I am going to go. I am actually, my computer is, my other computer is losing its mind right now because it's trying to offload this, uh, the podcast that we need to get up. So thank you again a million times. Go follow Extra. Go do all the things. You guys are amazing. I'm overwhelmed. I have to go. Uh, I will see you again tomorrow couple days, couple days for another round of soapy fun. Bye. The camera is telling me that the battery is about to die, so it's perfect timing. All right, I'll see you guys next time.